All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Habakakwadash, and Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. And uh, before, um, <clears throat> double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. And honors, so honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, bringing out this word in truth and enduring to the end and making their bodies a living sacrifice. All right. And uh, Shalom to the families of the men of the Lord as well. All right. That's submitting themselves to the, the, the man of the Lord. All right. Um, this is a quick sit down. All right. You know, um, just preparing. Uh, you know, the elect for the times we're about to enter into, all right? Preparing the whole elect for the times we're about to enter into, all right? Just bringing out scriptures, all right? Faith come by hearing the words of Yahweh Shema Shah, all right? So when we bring these precepts out as men of the Lord, uh, we're the oracles of the Most High, Yahweh Shema Shah, all right? So literally, when we go precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, uh, in the name of Yahweh Bashma Shah, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashma Shah, all right, <clears throat> through his Holy Spirit, all right, through Kakwadash, all right, that's power, all right, that quickens, that quickens and um, um, it, it, it gives strength, all right, to the believers, all right, it gives us strength, you know, and, um, <clears throat> You know, these words is what's what's going to sustain us, these scriptures. Just like just like in the book of Eli, you know, the Bible sustained the Eli, the book in the book of Eli, uh, uh Denzel Washington. Okay? You know, so it's gonna be the same uh, um thing for us, you know? It's not like you got a GPS in your mind and you know exactly where you're heading in Jacob's trouble. No, we're gonna be uh, uh walking by faith. We're gonna walk by faith. All right. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> the spirit of the Lord is going to guide us. The Lord is going to give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding and discretion. All right. To move accordingly and, um, you know, be a uh, uh, circumspect, you know, wise as serpents, harmless, harmless as doves. And um, yes, moving just like how in the book of Eli, how he was moving in that movie. OK. So let's get these scriptures and Lord willing, it's edifying. So this second Ezra, second Ezra 14 and 13, second Ezra 14 and 13. Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. All right. So this is what's commanded of us. All right. As men of the Lord. And if you don't do it, you, you hey, you might not make it. All right. It's just that simple. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Right. Fuck this world. Fuck. Fuck the problems we're going through right now. All right. Fuck our lives. All right. We're we're concerned about the the kingdom of heaven uh, to come. All right. You know, <clears throat> you know, we we taking care of our duties as as a as a man of the Lord, first and foremost. All right. And um, as head of the household, all right, we, we take we do what we got to do, all right, you know, to to um, um, to survive. All right. But we understand all this shit is about to be soon. All hell about to break loose. Society is about to collapse. All right. The Lord is about to de destroy this way of life if, as we know it. The Lord is about to destroy Babylon, the great America. All right. You know. So our minds is ready to flee. Our minds is ready to be pilgrims. Our minds is ready to be off the grid. Our minds is ready for, uh, for persecution. All right, we're about to go through persecution, okay? We're about to be hunted, all right? So yeah, we're about to be, Jacob's trouble is, is all about pressure, all right? That's that old temptation. That's that's hardship. You know, your faith is going to be tested to the max in those times. All right. <clears throat> so what we going through now is not it's not uh, compared to the, the thrilling and the, um, um, it's another word I'm trying to think of, you know, the thrills and the um, 
damn, it's on the tip of my tongue. What is it? Uh, um, not climax. Um, dang it, it's a word I wanted to say. All right, but it's not to be compared to Jacob's trouble. All right, you know, because we never, we never experienced Jacob's trouble. All right, majority of the uh, Hofi elect never experienced. Well, I'm going to go as far to say all of us, you know, because you got some Israelites, they got military background. You got some Israelites, you know, you, you they probably you probably been in jail for 10 years. You probably been in jail 10 years, five years, 15 years, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you probably actually see some stuff. You probably actually got your hands dirty. All right. And, and you're uh, as that old man. All right. Before coming to this truth. All right. Before coming uh, being brought back, all right, uh, to Yahweh by Shemal Shah, all right, you know, but still though, Jacob's trouble is going to be insane, all right, but the Lord is going to put that spirit of boldness and, um, he's going to put a calm spirit on us, you know, and basically just the spirit of just, hey, whatever, whatever comes our way, all right, it, it was meant to come our way, all right? We're not going to bend, break, or fold on Yahweh Bashem al Shah, all right? You know? So now's the time to cut the bullshit. Um, let me read that again. Uh, where does it go? I want that part. Uh, Second Ezra 14 and 13. It say, now, now renounce corruption, all right? Whether that's corruption... In, within yourself or around you, renounce it. Okay? All right. <clears throat> we don't got time for no bullshit. We don't got time for nothing. Nothing that's, that's bullshit. All right? <laughs> all right? Fuck all that. So it say, um, <clears throat> and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste the, thee to flee from these times. Right? You know, it says, uh, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right. You know, like I'm going to give you a little insight on my personal life. Um, <clears throat> like when my dad tried to give me motivational uh, talks and, you know, like, hey, you know, you got to woo wop, woo wop, you know, um, try to learn you a trade. You know, we wop gotta start saving your money and do this, do that, and you know they basically it's the it's the talk of basically um, making um, making bigger moves, so to speak, in order to basically grow and um, be successful in this world. You know, and um, that's. They don't understand the prophecies. They don't understand, you know, what's going on in the world. You know? They don't understand that, all right? But, hey, we got to, you know, it's, it's pointless in trying to teach them or whatever. It's pointless in trying to speak any truth to them. It's not going to go nowhere, all right? So let them say that, that bullshit. Yeah, 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 you know? And, uh just deal with it, you know? But long as you got a job and you're able to keep a roof over your head and, you know, basic necessities, that's all that matter. We focus on your Yahweh Shema Shah, these prophecies, and getting the fuck out of here. All right? So I say, um, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> but the point was 15, okay? You know, whatever you're going through now, just mentally say, fuck it, all right? Now, we're not children. We got to deal with whatever we're going through. You know, you got to face the music. You got to re be responsible, all right? But we understand we're not going to be in this forever and not too much longer, all right? Um, let me get a scripture on that. All right, this Revelation, I think it's chapter 3, starting at um, 11. 
All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 10. It's Revelation, Revelation chapter 3 and 10. Because thou uh, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. All right. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Okay. So the, the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. The Lord going to have come like um, yesterday, yesterday night when the power outages uh, happened and, you know, the uh, that storm happened last night, uh, you know, and things like that. Um, yeah, it came like a thief in the night, you know. So Jacob's trouble is going to pop off when you least expect it. That's why we all suppo always supposed to be watching, all right? Watching and keeping our garments clean. Fuck this world, all right? You literally got to have that fuck everything mentality, all right? Literally. You know, of course not this truth. This, this truth matters, all right? Only this truth, all right? You know, and your... your uh, your wife and children that's submitting to your how about Shmuel Shah under you. That's all that matter. All right. Everything else is fuck it. You know what I'm saying? All right. And whatever we lose on this side, you know, fuck it. We know we're going to get it back anyway in the kingdom of heaven. All right. So that's the quickest and simplest I can put it. You know? <clears throat> uh, okay. All right. Let's see what I want next. Because we living in some beautiful times, man. I'm going to get Romans 15. All right. This Romans. Uh, bear with me. Yeah, I'm going to get Romans 14 and 4. That's not what I wanted, though. All right. This uh, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, all right? That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, right? Okay? Now the uh, the power of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, all right? And that's it on that, you know? But these scriptures is going to give us comfort, all right? The Lord is going to put a, a, a patient spirit on you. You're going to be comforted. You're going to have hope. All right. And you how about Shemal Shah? All right. You know that these prophecies uh, soon come to pass. OK, I think I want 13. Um, OK. This Romans, Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. All right. So your salvation is so close. All right. Literally, like when that storm happened yesterday night and uh, power went out, you know, I was happy. I was happy. I was praying to you. I was like, man, I hope this is Jacob's trouble. I hope this is it. You know. You know. We, we, you should yearn for the for the kingdom of heaven, all right. You should yearn for these prophecies to come to pass, all right. If you're not in that spirit, then that means you're not in the spirit of fuck it, all right. That means when tribulation and adversity come, that means you're gonna take the easy route. You're gonna take the sellout route, all right. Plain and simple. If you're not in that mindset of fuck it. You're going to sell out or you're going to, um, you know, you, you, you're going to do something basically to please Esau, the so-called white man. All right. And his in this system. All right. Because that's that's the time that's coming uh, uh, rising. All right. Choose this day whom you shall serve. All right. So the time is coming to where what? Our faith going to be put to the test, you know, choose this day whom you shall serve, all right? Is you going to take that mark of the beast? Or are you going to take the easy way out? Or are you going to trust in your how about Shema Shah, all right? You know, because, man, like, once you see 
once you see that chariot, so-called UFO, uh, descending to pick your, come pick your ass up, now you can have a sigh of relief, you know? Now you can celebrate. Now you can, you know, you have finished the race. All right? So we're trying to get to that point. All right? So I say, the night, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put, uh, put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shahamashak, and make not and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Right. So we gotta be keeping ourselves unspotted from the world. Fuck the world, fuck all this shit. Alright? Just focus on this truth. Alright? You know? <clears throat> How they say in the world, cool your nachos. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's see what I want. That might be it. Oh, it's one more. Uh, I want to speak on pride because pride is a, it's, it's contagious. It's, 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 it's famous in these last days. All right. I think that's in, uh, what that is. Second Timothy. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah, this is this all I want. This is all I want, all this. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop at seven. So there's Second Timothy, Second Timothy 3 and 1. This, uh, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right. Which is, we in them last days, all right? Everything is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse, all right? And it's beautiful, okay? For men shall be lovers of their own selves, all right? Covetous, boasters, proud, all right? You shouldn't be a proud man, all right? The Lord hates a proud man, a, pr a, pr a prideful man, all right? And that's all you see amongst two-thirds, all right? You know, um, today... You know, my dad asked me for a favor, come help him pick up all these, um, you know, trees and uh, tree limbs and all this destruction that happened by the storm, right? You know, we had a couple other family members, cousins come help and stuff. And uh, it's just the pride, the pride in their conversation, just the, the, the pride. I'm not going to get into everything, but that's two thirds are proudful. The Lord say he hates a poor man that's proud. So with that being said, to whom much is given, much is required. We're on, the, us in this truth, if you're in this truth, you're on a higher level than two thirds of our people because they're still in the matrix. They're still stuck in darkness, all right? <clears throat> so you have this truth, this doctrine of life. You're on that straight and narrow path. So, the, so how much more, how much humble we should be all right, um, in the position we in, okay, you know, and that's something else, uh, hey, better check yourself before you wreck yourself, that proud demon, okay, it say blasphemer, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce, truce breakers, false accusers, and incontinent, fierce, despisers of despises of those that are good all right so all these different spirits and demons is hopping on people and um these scriptures is manifesting all right this is prophecy of the last days all right so if you don't want it to happen to you all right you want to stay uh what humble all right humble and keep your foot on the pedal on the gas on the gas pedal all right spiritually speaking you know Stay sincere. Just do the work. All right. Build your build building yourselves up on that most holy faith. Just do the work. It ain't gotta be extra. All right. You know, the longer I be in this truth, I get tired of extra shit. You know. And this truth is not hard. You know, the the Lord said His yoke. All right, is uh easy. All right, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So this truth is not hard to do. 
serving Esau at, at these different jobs is actually harder than doing the will of Yahweh Bashmal Shah. Just straight, point blank, like just raw and uncut. It's easy. It's it's easier to serve, serve Yahweh Bashmal Shah, keep the law, statutes, commandments, teach this truth. It's easier to do do that than to go to a plantation, to 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 work in the plant, to work at these different. Uh, Slave ass jobs, corporations for Esau. All right. So just keep it simple, you know, and just have that mentality of fuck it, you know, because that's going to help you get through Jacob's trouble. Trust in Yahweh Bashmal Shah. Know that everything gonna be all right, you know. And hey, fuck it, fuck, fuck this life that we have. It ain't shit anyway, you know. And that's how I view everything now, you know. When something bad happened in my life, I just shrug my shoulders and say, fuck it. <laughs> no matter how two-thirds look at you crazy, like, oh, man, this is serious. Like, you're, you're tripping, you know, whoop, 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 whoop. You know, nah, fuck it. You know, I got to deal with it. It is what it is, you know. What you want me to say? <laughs> hey, it is what it is. And that's, you know, two-thirds don't understand what's going on, all right? That's why you're... Yahweh Shah said, let me get this. This Matthew 12. Two thirds really don't know. What two thirds really think life is just supposed to be perfect. Like in this captivity. Oh man, we got so much opportunity. Man, it's jobs everywhere, man. It's money everywhere. It's, op you know, get out. You got to get out there and get it. And, you know, Jake don't know what's going on. Jake Mine, he's trying to progress and get better and be more successful in this world. He don't know what's going on. So, of course, they're going to look at a spiritual man, a man of the Lord. They're going to look at him crazy like, man, why, why do he not want to get richer? Why do he not want to uh, invest his money into this and that? Or, uh, you know, you know, learn a trade and nah, you know, fuck all that. All right. All this shit is about to come. It's about to be destroyed, all right? It's about to be destroyed. Matthew Matthew 12 and 48. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who is and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same as my brother, sister, and mother. Right? So the uh, Akim and his truth, they gon we understand one another, all right? A brother in this faith is not going to tell you, oh, I, you got to advance your life in this society, you know? The brother not about to uh, give you advice that now you got to put time and effort into, you know, you're trying to get more and more money, you know, yeah, I try to get that $20 raise or that $30 raise and, you know, put in some overtime. <laughs> you know, a, a brother not going to, give you advice on putting working harder for you know in this society to grow in this society or have nicer things in this world you know a brother a brother is going to turn your mind towards a new heavens and a new earth our right, brother going to reassure you yes i you know we got to work we got responsibility right now all right you know but as long as you got your, you, you take care of your basic necessities, you know, fuck the rest. All right. Handle your business as a man and a man of the Lord. You know, the excess of shit don't matter. All right. This shit about to soon be uh, uh, destroyed. Babylon, the great America will be hit with uh, nuclear destruction. Uh, uh, World War Three, according to the Bible. All this information is in the Bible. It's prophecy. All right. So with that being said, fuck it, you know? I'm not trying to get a better job. I'm not trying to work hard and move up within the company, all right? Long as I get my 40 hours, long as I get enough to um, pay my bills and keep a roof over my head and food on the table, fuck it, all right? You know, two-thirds gonna look at you crazy like, oh man, he's not trying to get a, you know, grow and make good money and, you know, grow within the company or get a better job and you know 
So uh, you shouldn't care what two thirds have to think of you. Two thirds don't know what the fuck going on anyway. All right. And I'm gonna end it on that. I'm gonna end it on that before I get uh, more riled up. <laughs> but uh, with that, I want to end it and give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, honors and salutations to the men of the Lord, bringing out this word in truth and enduring until the end. All right? Well, my side of you, you know, just have that mentality of fuck it and pray. Uh, that Yahweh Bashmal shot short in the times and keep putting in his work, all right? <clears throat> and uh, to the families of the men of the Lord, wish us Shalom.